My name is Clint from GSI Technical Support. Do you ever wish you could monitor your grain dryer remotely, in real time, even make a change to a set point? How about being notified if there's an issue that causes the dryer to shut down? All of that is possible on any GSI or FFI dryer with vision controls when you add GSI Watchdog. This video applies to all GSI dryers with vision controls manufactured from 2006 to 2022. This service is of moderate difficulty and should be performed by a qualified electrician or gas technician. Before you begin, please read the relevant GSI user manuals and follow all safety guidelines outlined, including the usage of personal protective equipment and lockout tagout procedure. Recommended materials and tools. User manual PNEG 1706. Watchdog kit number VIS dash WATCH dash IC. Tools needed, straight blade terminal screwdriver, wire strippers, screw gun, and self-tapping screws. Before we begin the installation, let's take a look at Watchdog. Once installed, the Watchdog circuit board is added to the communication network of your dryer. So Watchdog has access to all of the data within the vision control system. The software allows specific information to be shared via an internet connection to your computer, tablet, or cell phone in real time. Watchdog gives you the ability to monitor and control your dryer remotely. For more information on Watchdog, visit www.grainsystems.com. Before we begin the actual installation, let's look at the hardware that you'll be installing. Once you have unboxed and identified all the hardware, let's begin the installation by making sure the power is off and locked out. The Watchdog hardware is installed in the lower control box, so let's open the box and start the installation. Open the outer door to gain access to the dryer control panel. Then open the inner panel to gain access to the vision system. There are two different latches on the inner panel. The turn knob at the top right should be turned counterclockwise to release the latch. For safety, the latch at the bottom right requires a flat blade screwdriver to open. Using the screwdriver, turn the latch counterclockwise. Now the inner panel can be opened. Now that you're inside the control panel, let's identify a mounting location. There are a few things to consider. The mounting plate for the Watchdog circuit board measures 6 inches by 9 inches. When choosing the mounting location, remember that the communications cable must connect the circuit board to the display I.O. located on the front panel behind the display. Here's a typical location often used for the circuit board. Mounting the board is a simple process and only requires self-tapping screws that are included with the kit. Use the mount as a template for screw locations and then install the mount. You will need a drill or screw gun for the self-tapping screws. Next, we need to get power to the watchdog board. We get power from the 12 volt DC power supply. There is a red and a black wire already installed on the watchdog circuit board. Use the red wire for 12 volt positive and the black wire for 12 volt negative. Determine the physical layout for the power wires and use the provided wire ties to hold them in place. Hook up the wires one at a time. Start with the red wire going to 12 volt positive on the power supply. Next, install the black wire to 12 volt negative on the power supply. Finally, let's connect the watchdog circuit board to the auxiliary serial port on the display I.O. with the supplied cable. Attach the end of the cable with the DB9 to the corresponding connector on the watchdog board. Now connect the red, white, and black wire with connector on the other end of the cable to the auxiliary serial port on the display I.O. board. That's it for hardware installation. Check all your connections to ensure that they are tight and then you're ready to turn the power on. Once you turn on the control panel, look at the watchdog board to verify it has power. Next to the ethernet connection on the board, you'll see a green light if the power is installed correctly. Now that the hardware is installed and connected to the 12 volt power supply, our next step is to connect the watchdog system to the internet. For a step-by-step -step guide on that process, please review other videos in the watchdog series. The watchdog system is recommended for all dryers with vision controls. We hope you found the information in this video helpful. Thanks for watching.